Hello everyone. Welcome to Laravel Commerce tutorial. In this video, I want to talking about uh, starter kits in this Laravel framework. The starter kit what is offer for us? It is offer for us Laravel Brace and Laravel Jetstream. We have two options. What we need to uh, what we offer for us this include authentication for our project because authentication is very important for uh, frameworks the creating user registration user and some session information if you want to use breeze breeze is breeze is offer for us Login page registration and password reset, email verification and password confirmation in this starter kit. Another starter kit options it is Laravel Jetstream with Jetstream is include same thing but includes login, registration, email verification, two-factor authentication, session management, and team management something. The when I check properties of the starter kit, it is it is just look like more additional thing than Laravel Brace. If you want to apply Laravel Jetstream in our project, we need to check official Jetstream documentation. How that how we can implement or apply Jetstream in our project. Let me start. I want to start my project that I want to show you differences between Jetstream or not. It is our basic project, as you can see. We don't have anything about the user in our project. You see in the screen. Let I want to try. I want to install Jetstream in our project. Installation. For installation, I need to, we need to check, we need to install Jetstream with the Composer. Okay, Jetstream is completed in our project. Installation is completed. After that, you need to uh, install Jetstream in our project. Before we install Jetstream in PHP, uh, in this step, we need to install Jetstream in our project. We have uh, two options. The one is Limeware, Liveware. The another is Inertia. You can choose for our project. I want to try Liveware. If you want to try, if you want to implement with the themes, we can use with the themes. Okay, I want to install with the uh, teams also. Because Limeware is include JavaScript and 
it needs JavaScript framework Node.js. That's why after that we need to install npm. Okay, JetPM's Jet library with the JetStream installed with the Teams. After that, then we need to run for build. It says about the JavaScript. Install npm install npm run. Do. Okay, still continue. Installation. Okay, everything is okay. Let's check. We apply these two comments and we need to migrate because after this installation, we have migration files. We have is created migration files right here, as you can see. Migration is about the database, about the model, but we don't have any definition about uh, our database just i want to show you we will get error about uh, this migration as you can see this is about the uh, sql server we don't have any connection with the sql server because we don't start our sql connection also we don't have any uh, definition about our database connection I installed before I installed champ application to my computer for manage my server my my SQL database I want to start my my SQL I want to start my PHP Apache server and I want to enter my PHP my admin I want to manage my database I want to create database for my project Laravel commerce like that okay I created Laravel 9 a commerce we need to define we need to define this uh, database to framework how we can define this database first I want to show this documentation in this documentation because we need to configuration some I want to show you configuration that we need to conf set our configuration in ANV file in root directory as you can see we have a this file for our project let's see this part of the, our before I created I think 
Level 9 accomplished. Okay, this is level 9 e-commerce. We have a... The username is root. We don't have password. I think it's okay. And my SQL server is running. Then I want to try... I want to try my migration again. Let's start. I got a review the session. Maybe I tried before. I want to fix this problem. This is my session. I want to drop it. If exist. I want to try again. It's okay. I think everything is okay. I want to start my server again. Please check my project. You can see my project. I want to refresh this area. When I refresh, when I refresh, as you can see, I get two link right here. I want to create my user from here before because we don't have any user. I don't have any user. I want to create my user from here. I want to create my password. Email. It is fake, it is not real. Okay. Let's save. As you can see, I have a dashboard about to with for user. I can change my name. I can change my password. I can I have I can see my browser sessions. You see. You see, it's changed right here. It is team about the teams. Some definition about our team, create new team, my teams like that. My sessions. I want to create another sessions. For example, from right here. Login. Alex. Let me check my session right here. You see, I have two session. My for about 
about this user. I have two sessions also. I can get another session from the different browser. And login. Alexgmail.com. Okay. That check sessions. You see? One of them, Firefox, by two sessions from the Chrome. I can log out from the session from here. Let's check it. It need password log out from log out from the all of sessions. In this session I am logged in and I want to check another from this session. It is logged out and I want to check this session. I want to refresh this page. You see, I logged out. Okay. Okay, in this video, I showed you how you can create user and user login, user reg registration by using just stream if you want to need more detailed information you can check the jet stream document page you can read detailed information from here the jet stream add for us some routes additional routes it's at some additional route about us and also it adds some, some resource in this area about the teams, about the dashboard, about the user, you see. At, about authentication, you see and something about the jet stream automatically add something in in this area and also i think is at it does not anything about the controller okay in this video we created database and we set database information in our framework and we add we installed jetstream in our project and we create user and we login with created user i thank you for watching see you in the next video